Vlog Buddies, hands on the wheel. We are in Everett, Washington. Everett. Woo! Everett. Everett, Washington. And oh my gosh, show them how pretty it is over here. Look, it Can looks you... like there's going to be a twister. It doesn't look like that. I just, I'm like, I'm so in love with it. We, we landed in Seattle. By the way, I'm with Daria, my co-worker, friend Daria. Say hi. Hi, Vlog Buddies. Look, look at, at my hat. Your hat killed me. I, it, but you know what, people? What? It is 50 freaking degrees here. Oh, it's probably less now. Yeah. Oh, it's totally freezing. Freezing cold. Um, and so Daria knew we were coming into, you know, cold weather, so she bought a special hat. At Target. It, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Um, but we landed in Seattle early this morning with Louise, who was just, was she the most precious thing you've ever seen? She was so sweet in the plane. Ah. So we landed with her and we drove her all the way up to Mount Vernon to stay with my mom for tonight. And then, because by, by the way, it's Saturday right now. This won't air until Monday, you know that? Mm -hmm. um, it's Saturday right now. Now we're headed, we spent that hour in Seattle, or Mount Vernon, and listen, I need, I need more coffee. Ow. So sorry, we <laughs> spent like an, an hour in Mount Vernon with my mom and having um, soup, homemade soup. Yes, thanks uh, mom Ross for the soup uh, and the salad. So Except what did mom put in the soup and the salad? Toria. It, it was very healthy. It was very healthy. She put some beans and, and, and cabbage. <laughs> Toria, you can't, you know, this is, so Daria and I both have been like, my, it's hot in here. <laughs> beans, beans, or you eat. No, they're good for your heart. heart. Fruit. No, the more beans, you eat. beans are good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you eat. What fart. about the magical fruit? The more you eat, the more you the, the more you chew. Yes. Yeah. No, the more you, you eat, the better you feel. So eat, eat those beans, beans at every meal. Anyway, tell anyway so speaking of, <laughs> about this. Anyway, we're headed back to Seattle right now. Just so you can tell them. Back to Seattle. South on I-5, we're going to spend the night, tonight in Seattle, we're going to go out after this big event thing that I'm doing for the Party! Agency, which I'm super excited about. There's my suit hanging in the back. We're in our rental car, just by the way. So, I tell the people we got an upgrade. Oh, totally free upgrade. We have a fancy schmancy car. We named it Vanilla Wafer. Because I, I asked the lady, I go, what, co what color is it? She said, Vanilla. <laughs> so we saw it and who? we said, it really is Vanilla. It really is Vanilla, but who describes the color of a car like that? Anyway, it cracked me up. So we're gonna play a little game. Um, I call it karaoke roulette. It's fun to do at a karaoke bar where you put a song in for someone with their name and the number and they just call and they don't know what song it is and they sing, but you can also play it like if a song, say to your friend, you sing the next song on the radio and whatever it is, they have to sing it and sell it and perform it even if they don't know it. So Dari has picked a song on her iPod to play for me and look how we rigged this. this over the thing. But um, to play for me, and I'm starting to perform it for you, and I may not even know the song. I'm going to show the people if they can see oh. it here. Can they? No, I don't. Yes, I love, they can see this. I love seeing the answer. Here we go. What is it? Oh, mother Hubbard. Ready? I don't know this. The words. Play with the preacher's song. There you go. It was going to be called long. When the gutter is started talking. Take me walking, walking, walking put a hand to the brick of a lock, then you look into it. Lord, there's a surprise. The only man I was going to ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. The only one who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. He was. Because it's really bad. I thought you would know this one. No, I don't know anything about. Should I pause? No, we don't pause here. Sorry. Hey, hey. You have to pick one for me. Well, you've seen it? Yeah. You'll have to film yourself. Okay. Okay, pause it. All right, people, I have picked one for Daria. Can, oh, they, okay, you have to turn the camera around on yourself now and film oh, you. Boy. All right, Ross, right, I better know this. Okay. Do you really like this? Huh? I think you'll know this. I really, really like it. Do. Wait, Wait we need um, defroster because we're, oh, we're getting It's getting hot, hot in here, people. <laughs> oh, my God, I totally know this song. That is sad. She was just on our show. I'm going to sing it with you. Do it. We're making our way downtown. Rockin' stops. Takes it, pass it, and home down. One. You just, better know it. No stopping, just do it. Okay, let's, let's just do it. Whoops. I'm gonna show the people what it is. People, if he doesn't know this. What is it? Oh, no, I'm scared. I'm gonna know it. 
the best party song in the world. It says early M -M. part's a little confusing, but I can do this. I know all these. Can I help? Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. I know all of these. The last one to know. The last one to show. I was the last help? one you yeah, thought you'd see there. Never have to ask me. I saw it should rise. And the fear in his eyes When I took his glass of champagne Put it on both of us back and forth I toasted you, said honey, we may be through And you'll never hear me complain Cause I got friends in no places where the whiskey is wrong And the beer chases my blue Okay, so here's the deal. It's the early evening on Saturday, and behind me are Daria, Renee, and Molly. Say hello! hello. Hi! They're in my hotel room, and we're staying at the Westin in Seattle. Should I let people know that? Actually, that's fine. Look, look out here. There's a space needle right outside my window. How amazing is this view? Am I right, you guys? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> Jeez, like pulling teeth. Anyway, we're going to go downstairs, and look, I got dre all dressed up. Can you believe this? Down, all the way down to my shoes. Fancy. It's a big night. Well, TR night's here, you know. Yes. It's, it's, a, a, big it's a big TR, TR night. night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go down. It's a big thing. I'm emceeing this big event for HRC, and it's going to be fantastic and fun, and I'm totally nervous. You know this Don't star. be nervous. You know he'll be great, people. Uh, well, I know, but I've been trying to write. The trick is to write the entire thing that you're going to say and then throw it away. Yeah. That's the trick, don't you think? And bring your posse. And bring your posse. And you're my posse. We're your posse. Hi. Joke there, Hi. Hi. Okay. So we're gonna go downstairs where the big event thingy is, and it's uh, it's gonna happen now. We're like five minutes away from it. Two minutes. Away. Oh my god! I need a deep breath. This way. What's flashing? Here. Do you need to take it? From yeah. All right, blog buddies. I'm taking you with me. Is it recording? Oh, it's totally recording. All right, so it's like intermission here at the thingy. And I decided, like, I can't go anywhere without you guys. So I'm going to bring you up on stage. Look at this. People are totally eating, and I'm going to interrupt them and make them say hi, blog buddies. Let's see if I can do it. Hi, blog buddies. Okay, it's me, Ross. And this is quite possibly the most awkward moment in talking blog history. I'm here in front of a thousand or so people, and I'm going to get them to do it with me. Are you ready? Everybody, one, two, three. All right, one second. Okay. Speaking of Michelle Kwan, I gotta be really honest with you. I was so nervous. And who watches Grey's Anatomy? Woo! And I an easier question is who doesn't watch Grey's Anatomy? And I write nobody. It's so funny. And um, I was in the elevator earlier today, and I ran into this guy, and I got so nervous, like I like sweat in my little eye, you know. And he was so nice to me, so nice. In fact, that I, I really think I'm legally gonna change my name to T.R. Knight Rider.